So, you want to visit another planet, huh? Well, before you throw on your spacesuit and lace up your space boots, you'll probably want to send something in your place to scout the area out first. Today, I'm going to start that exact series of missions to fully explore the planet Silero. Silero is the Mars analog for the game Simple Rockets 2, and it's the fourth planet in the Juno system. It has a rust-covered surface and many large mountains and craters with massive ice caps that contain huge reservoirs of frozen water and methane. It's definitely a planet worth exploring, especially since its polar ice caps may contain the first signs of alien life. So how are we going to get there? Well, before we send any manned missions, we need to deploy the scouts. I'm going to launch a constellation of 20 small satellites that will scan the surface of Silero, scouting out ideal landing locations and taking measurements about the atmospheric conditions to give our astronauts a better picture of what's to come. Now I'm recording this after having already built and launched the mission and well, let's just say it didn't exactly go according to plan. All right, so we have our satellite set up and designed here. It is ready to go on the stack. Uh, we're going to be using a pre-made rocket that I've been working on for the past couple of days. Some of you might have seen it on the website already. It is the HL-2A Idaho, and it's going to be our launch vehicle for this mission. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this as a sub-assembly. First, I need... Uh, set this as primary so I can grab this whole thing. There we go. Um, and we'll call this Silero S Survey Satellite. Okay. Now let's load a craft. We're going to load the HL-2A Idaho. This rocket will be our launch vehicle. It's a very capable rocket. It has more than enough power to get us where we need to go. So what are we gonna do? How are we going to attach these? Um, What are you do? What are you? What are you doing? Why are they there? What? What are you doing? Okay, game. So hey, everyone. Guess what? If you play the experimental version of Simple Rockets, it's buggy as. F um, that's frustrating. 
One moment, please, while I submit a bug report. Yay, bug reports. Okay, so now that they're all unjacked up, let me delete that. Thank goodness. Okay, is that going to happen again? I don't know. I'm running the experimental version of Simple Rockets on PC, and it happened again. Okay, so this is how it's going to be, game, huh? Oh my goodness. Okay, um, we're going to copy that whole thing. Perfect. We're going to disable all attachment points. Cool. All right, bug report number two. Here we go. There we go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so four times four, sixteen satellites on this payload. I think we can do one more for twenty. Twenty seems like a good number. 20 satellites on this payload that brings us up what's our total like delta v budget for the mission what are we looking at here um mm, yeah this is not accurate Six thousand eight hundred that seems low yeah yeah yeah, okay. Maybe this is just inaccurate. Six, okay. I think, I think that's fine. It didn't work. Something exploded. Did the engine explode? Engine exploded due to overheating. Well, all right, well, let's quick load. We're gonna try that again, but we're gonna go a little bit deeper into the atmosphere. All right, well, after much consternation, we have determined that, nope, that is not going to cut it. The drogue chute design was not going to work. So we need to go back to the drawing board with the individual satellite. I think what the problem is we're seeing now is these things are just a little too heavy. So if we can strip down some weight on them where possible. So what I'm going to do, we're going to redesign this here. Set this as the primary. A thousand kilograms per satellite is just too much weight. So the first thing I'm thinking we can get rid of, this detacher weighs 500 kilograms, which is as much as the satellite itself. It doesn't need to weigh this much. One, I don't want any detachment force. And two, it can be like, it could be this big and it would still work. It just needs to hold the satellite on. So that alone is going to significantly decrease the weight of the satellite and make it a lot more, uh, a lot less payload intensive, I guess you could say. Um, I want to move this, please. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, it's grouped. Never mind. I figured it out. That wasn't a bug. That was just me.
So we are now in Siloro's sphere of influence, which is where I want to be. Let's plan our maneuver now, right? So let's come over here. We're gonna place a maneuver node at periapsis and I need more sensitivity. There we go. Because this is gonna be a big maneuver. 2000 meters per second. 1200 gets us to here. How much more do we have actually? 2021. So how much to get to a circular orbit, like a truly circular orbit, what's it gonna take? Oh, we got plenty. Ladies and gentlemen, we have plenty. And I don't even need to be that close. Like, I was going to put these at about 600. All right, now we're... Now it's too sensitive. Hold on. Turn down the sensitivity. 600. Perfect. Lock it. Warp to it. Whoa, hello. All right, so we are in... Silero's shadow now. Look at that sun sunrise right there. Beautiful. This burn is to stop us. And nice. Time fucked up. Whoops. I mean, messed up. It messed up. It didn't do the other thing. And we're past our burn node. That's cool. That's really cool of it. I like that. Um, let's just burn retrograde. It, I, don't, I don't care anymore. Just burn retrograde. And delete that burn node. Nope. Still burn. Just delete the burn node. Okay, so this will be slightly less fuel efficient, but that's okay. Um, Alright, we're captured. We'll make another burn. Okay, pointing prograde now. I'm not going to do a burn node for this one. I'm just going to do it manually. Because I can. Two, three, four, five. All right, we'll just do very low thrust mode here. Raising it, raising it, raising it. That's okay. You know what? I'm happy with that. That's eight kilometers lower than I intended to be, but it's very circular, and I would rather it be very circular. You know than than anything else okay so we have this um we are what the hell we're missing a satellite did some okay we're missing a satellite is there anything let's inspect the payload real quick um let's just take a look here everything antennas are there solar panels antennas solar panels oh boy so something happened here we're down two satellites. Two were damaged. That's interesting. What happened? Everyone else looks fine, though. Okay. So, we are done with phase two. We have successfully entered orbit with our bus carrying all the satellites for the mission. Now, we need to deploy the satellites into the ring and we're basically going to have them all spread out on this one ring so what i'm going to do is we're going to deploy them one at a time and maneuver them and this is going to take a minute this is going to be a little tedious but it's not a complicated thing i'm basically going to deploy one satellite and then use its fuel to burn away from the bus get into position and then restore its orbit back to what it was before so that it'll be in the exact same orbit and stay in that same position relative to the rest of the satellites. And then we'll do that for each one. Um, so I guess 18, we had two satellites that didn't make it through the mission, but we'll have 18 satellites in orbit. So I am going to time lapse and you get to watch that happen at like 10 times speed while I do it and it takes me like an hour or two. So I will see you on the other side of this time lapse.
All right, <laughs> an hour and a half later, we have done it. We have put all 17 of our um, ill-begotten satellites in orbit around Silo. We had three fail. Um, two were taken out during the launch, I guess. And then one of them was deployed and then uh, failed to deploy correctly and spiraled out of control and damaged its solar panels. But we managed to get 17 successfully into orbit around Silero, and they are now operating, scanning the surface of Silero, trying to gather information about possibly the existence of life, or just surveying and mapping the terrain, or what have you. Really, anything, anything you can think of they're doing. They're just doing the science now, collecting the info. Um, they work really well. Although one potential design flaw is that uh, the gyroscopes on these are way too powerful. Um, like, if I click on this gyroscope, you'll see its power consumption is swinging between, like, 8 and then 100, 200 watts of power. And so it's actually it's actually uncontrollable because it constantly is overcompensating. I think one of the things I can do is bring down the proportional response and the derivative, potentially. Maybe a higher derivative. No, try and, okay, you know what, maybe find control that later. They are in orbit now, and they, they're just barely controllable. They're stable enough that you can burn the engine. Um, but hey, you know what, they look pretty good. They're in orbit, they're doing their job. We got all 17 of them up and labeled properly. So that is it, that is the end of the mission. That took a lot of effort. Uh, we had several challenges to overcome through that, but you know what, we managed to do it and we got these beautiful looking satellites in orbit. So if you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, uh, I will see you in the next one where we're going to be doing some more work on the ISS community system. If you would like to check this system out for yourself and actually play around with these satellites, you can find the link to this community system uh, in the description of this video. If you did like the video, go ahead and leave a like and a comment below. That definitely helps get the video seen by more people the more that you comment and interact with the video. And that always helps a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching, stay safe out there, and keep on building.